Bel Air Season 2 keeps giving us all the excitement we were hoping for and more. Every member of the cast is up to something, and many of them are caught between two worlds that have very distinct goals for them. Aunt Viv is attempting to assert herself as an artist, Hillary is attempting to give more to her relationship with Jazz, while also managing her own influencer house, and we haven't even mentioned Will yet. Carlton wants to cut back on his medications despite the fact that his anxiety hasn't subsided. In the third episode of Bel Air's second season titled Compromised, Will upset his basketball coach. He may have pleased the scout, but how will Phil react to his new attitude and attention? Coach explains that a team victory is necessary for Bel Air Academy to advance to the playoffs. Will then criticizes Todd for not being his wingman, but Todd apologizes and Will promises to place the team ahead of himself. Next, the instructor who raised questions about Carlton and his team's protest is revealed, but Carlton calls her out for any possible ulterior motives. She does, however, note that Carlton's name will be considered for the Founders Award. She says she requires him to put an end to the demonstration. Ashley is a little angry because she believes Miss Hughes should have been fired. Vivian says the demonstration should make her feel better about the circumstance. Will is making an effort to persuade Carlton to speak with Yasmin. Then, as Carlton is starting to taper off his medication, Phil takes Will away to talk to him about watching out for him. Will then questions Phil about Doc and asks him if he has reviewed all of his information. Phil claims that he is not accurate about where he is and wants him to exercise caution around Doc. Carlton and Yasmin are working on his address together as this is going on. Hillary unintentionally breaks up the couple's planned embrace. While the meeting with the marketer goes well, Hillary discovers that they are interested in Ivy because of her social media following. To address her business meeting, Hillary then goes to see Ivy. To meet her later, she forces her away. Ivy informs Hillary that she won't support the company later that day when she arrives late for the meeting. Unfortunately, Ivy decides to call it a day. An email sent to students at the school says that anyone who takes part in the walkout will not only be suspended, but also forbidden from participating in any extracurricular activities. Despite this, everyone is still protesting, and Carlton is having difficulties because Ms. Bassett instilled fears and lofty expectations in his mind. Although everyone decides to protest, Yasmin and Carlton are already on their way to see the dean. The meeting is successful, but they consent to be kept silent, upsetting Will. When Yasmin and Will finally inform Carlton they will still go through with it, he starts to panic once more. Carlton leads the way as the exit is made. But when the school takes the banners, things outside get a little crazy, and everyone starts pressuring Carlton to give his address. Carlton experiences an anxiety attack as the strain grows and is unable to deliver the speech. Will finally arrives to settle him down and assures him that he has him. We observe Will stealing the signs from the school attendant and running upstairs to the roof as Carlton's anxiousness takes control of him. Carlton and Yasmin make eye contact during this time, and you can see the disappointment in her gaze. Kirk notes that Will is at the top of the school as everyone begins to make their way back into the building after concluding that the demonstration has ended. Will takes the large Black Teachers Matter banner off the roof. Everyone in the school starts yelling Black Teacher Matter, and Ashley, who is watching a feed of the demonstration on her phone, joins in. An upset Carlton watches as Will receives all the praise as the show episode to a close.